Hi YouTube, it's me Frankie, and I love November. Now for other people, they don't think November is much of a thing, because it's no longer Halloween, but it's not Christmas yet. Which is kind of weird because there's a lot of Christmas commercials right after Halloween. I mean, no, I am not joking about this. Like, on November 1st, I was watching TV, and there was a Christmas commercial. Anyway, <clears throat> reason why, also the reason why I like November is because it's Native American Heritage Month. Now, for some people who don't know what my heritage is, I'm Native American. Or, more specifically, I'm from the tribe of the Ojibwe's. Or chip wise if you live in the Amer if you live in America. And for the entire month, I'm gonna make two videos every month. Right now this is my first, but I'll get to that later. Um, and I'm gonna be talking about other th things like about my tribe, about uh, what I think about uh, other uh, like Thanksgiving and all that kind of stuff but for this video I'm gonna start out about uh, questions people ask me uh, about being Native American so I'm gonna tell you uh, stories or at least people ask me questions that I think is a little bit ridiculous if you think about it so let's get to it first question that I'm gonna do that people have asked me after I tell them that I'm Native American is do I live in a forest when I used to live in my tribe now obviously for people who are Native American this should be an easy question no we don't live in the forest but for those who don't really know much let me explain in my tribe, we live next to the forest, and that's understandable. We live in a very foresty area. There's a lot of trees, there's a lot of nature, a lot of everything. But it doesn't mean we live in the forest. I mean, there may be some natives who live in the forest uh, purposely, but they did that because they want to connect more to nature. I mean, you can connect more to nature if you live where I live, but that's, uh, yeah, we didn't live in, we don't live in the forest or anything. So, on to the next question. Another question that I've been asked is, can I find uh, the person's spirit animal? Now, honestly, I can't find your spirit animal. And personally, I'm not supposed to be the one to find your spirit animal. The person in himself, him or herself, are supposed to find their own spirit animal by themselves well yeah I don't know how to find your spirit animal but there are a lot of people in tribes and even those people in that tribe taught the people how to find that spirit animal so yeah a little yeah just, just keep it short I don't know how to find your spirit animal so yeah all right on to the next question another question that I've been asked is have I ever lived in a teepee? Now, my tribe, we never lived in teepees. I mean, even before, like, settlers came. My tribe, we use wigwams, which, if you want to know what it is, I'll spell it down in the, in the description. But, a little, let's get back to it. A teepee, we never, I never lived in a teepee, alright? I know how to build it, but I don't, never lived in one. And no one has, at least in my family, we never built a teepee and lived in it. We've built a tent, and that's about it. Or we just got a sleeping bag and slept outside. So yeah, we never, I never slept in a teepee before. Other tribes, they, a lot of tribes in the south, they make teepees, I think. And... So, yeah, you may think of tribes of the south. My tribe is up in the north. We use wigwams. 
which are kind of like teepees, but they are more of a dome shape. All right, on to the next question. Another thing that I think personally gets me really annoyed is that people ask me if I if they can join my tribe. Now, joining a tribe, if you're an outsider, you can't just ask to be joined into a tribe. It's kind of like you have to, um, you have to be born into the tribe or you have to marry someone that was in the tribe. And yeah, I mean, I've heard like about a, a few years ago, I heard that uh, my tribe now allows uh, people to be adopted into the tribe, which they can become tribe members. But I, I don't, you don't, you can't just, yeah, you can't, is there some sort, you can't just join, or you can't just ask someone to be in their tribe and they can just say, um, okay, you're a tribe member now. It doesn't work like that. And, uh, yeah, so, on to the next question. Alright, the last question that I've been asked a lot is, if I'm offended by the Washington Redskins team name. Now, honestly, I'm not really, because um, it's just a team name. They're not making fun of the Native American community. Of course, they would have changed the name a long time ago, but it's been their team name for this long that if they change it now, people are still gonna call them the Redskins, and there's gonna be a whole fight Oh, oh, even bigger than changing the Redskins or not changing the Redskins name. Now, honestly, when the the, the word Redskin, it's kind of like saying the word the N word. If you say if you call me a Redskin, but with respect, I'll treat it as a compliment, and I'll say hi to you back or hey, how's it going? It's kind of like how you how you say use the n-word as a respect to a uh, black person there's really nothing else different uh, so that's it for my video uh, for now uh, if you like this video hit the like button if you really like it I want you to hit that subscribe button yeah so um, next week I want to talk about my tribe uh, to keep on going and possibly talk about what we did and uh, where we're fr from. So, yeah. Uh, tune in next week to get this information. My name's Frankie, and see you later.